also struggling to pick an automation tool between Selenium and Cypress? Then let us help. Selenium and Cypress are both open-source test automation frameworks used to automate web browser testing. Selenium is a more mature tool and is used for automating web applications across different browsers, platforms, and programming languages. Cypress is a relatively newer tool that is designed to test web applications specifically built using modern JavaScript frameworks. Both tools allow developers to write automated tests for web applications, but they each have different approaches to testing. Selenium is based on the traditional automation testing approach, while Cypress uses a modern, developer-focused approach to testing. Selenium provides a wide range of features and customization options, while Cypress is simpler and more intuitive to use. Selenium is also better for cross-browser testing, while Cypress is more focused on testing web applications built with modern JavaScript frameworks. Let's start our comparison with architecture. The architecture of Cypress and Selenium are quite different, as they were designed to solve different problems and address different use cases. Cypress is designed to be a lightweight, all-in-one testing tool that runs in the same environment as the application being tested. It is built on a modern stack that includes JavaScript, Electron, and Chrome Dev tools, and it runs tests in the browser using a single command line interface. Selenium, on the other hand, has a more complex architecture that consists of several different components. At the core of Selenium is the web driver, which is a platform and language neutral interface that enables the communication between the testing code and the browser. In order to use Selenium, users must also install a web driver implementation for the specific browser and programming language they are using. Selenium also includes a grid component that allows users to run tests in parallel across multiple machines and browsers. Overall, Selenium has a more flexible and powerful architecture than Cypress, but it may also be more complex and harder to use for some users. Cloud services play an important role in software development nowadays. Let's see who provides cloud services between Selenium and Cypress. As your test suit grows, it becomes difficult to manage them on the developer's machine. This will force you to go for cloud services. In that case, you have two options. Either you have to find an automation tool that provides its own cloud service or use a third-party cloud service and chooses a test automation tool depending on the support provided by that third-party cloud provider. Both of the options have their own pros and cons. Overall it's easier when the test automation tool provides itself the cloud service. Cypress provides Cypress Dashboard, which is a cloud-based service that allows you to run tests in parallel on multiple machines and view the test results in a centralized location. Cypress Dashboard is tightly integrated with the Cypress Test Runner and provides additional features such as automatic video recording of test runs, network traffic analysis, and automatic retries of failed tests. Selenium does not have its own cloud service like Cypress Dashboard. However, Selenium can be used with cloud-based services provided by third-party vendors such as Browser Stack and Source Labs. These services provide a cloud-based Selenium grid that allows you to run tests on a variety of different browsers and operating systems in parallel. Both Browser Stack and Source Labs provide a web-based interface for managing and running tests, as well as additional features such as automatic screenshots and video recordings of test runs, and the ability to view test results and debug information. Additionally, both services also provide integrations with popular test runners and frameworks like Junit, TestNG, and Cucumber, which makes it easy to use Selenium with these services. In this section, we will talk about another very important feature of an automated testing tool. It's about the parallel execution of test cases. The ability to successfully execute test cases parallelly is a very important feature as the number of test cases to test an application grows very fast. Most companies with large software applications spend hours testing a product after each build. This has delayed the release of software significantly and has become a major problem for many companies. As a result, 
most automation tools hurry to create parallel execution feature in their tools. Who has done it better between Cypress and Selenium? In Selenium, parallel execution can be achieved by using a test runner such as Junit or TestNG, which allows multiple tests to be run simultaneously. However, Selenium's parallel execution capabilities are limited to running tests on different browsers or different machines. Cypress, on the other hand, has built-in support for the parallel execution of tests. Cypress can run multiple tests simultaneously on the same machine, and it can also distribute tests across multiple machines for even faster test execution. This is done through the use of a built-in plugin called Cypress Parallel. In summary, Selenium allows for parallel execution of tests by running them on different browsers or machines, while Cypress allows for parallel execution of tests on the same machine. Cypress also distributes the tests across multiple machines for faster execution with the use of Cypress Parallel. Another very important feature of an automation tool is support for headless browsers. There are many advantages to using headless browsers in automation such as speed, cost-effectiveness, consistency, and the ability to perform server-side testing. So let's see who wins between Cypress and Selenium in this aspect. In Selenium, headless browser execution is achieved by using a driver such as HTML unit driver or Phantom J's driver. These drivers allow you to run Selenium tests without the need for a visible browser window. However, these drivers have some limitations and may not fully support all features of a standard browser. Additionally, it might be needed to install additional libraries, and it has some compatibility issues with newer versions of web browsers. Cypress, on the other hand, has built-in support for headless browser execution. Cypress uses a lightweight headless browser called Electron to run tests, and it provides full support for all browser features. Cypress also provides a feature to run the tests in non-headless mode, so that the test can be observed while running. Clearly, Cypress is the winner in this comparison. Into the next feature. A lot of companies ignore the ability to analyze network traffic when choosing an automation tool. However, it's an important feature. Explaining that feature is beyond the scope of this video. We recommend you research more about it if you don't know yet. In Selenium, network traffic analysis is typically done by using a proxy tool such as Charles or Fiddler, which intercepts and logs the network traffic between the browser and the web server. These tools can be configured to work with Selenium, but it requires additional setup and configuration, and the logs must be analyzed manually. Cypress, on the other hand, provides built-in network traffic analysis through its dashboard service. Cypress records all network traffic during a test run, and it makes the network traffic logs available for analysis in the Cypress dashboard, which provides a graphical user interface for reviewing and filtering the network traffic. Cypress also provides a feature called time travel which allows developers to debug the network traffic by going back and forth in the test execution, making it easy to identify the source of an issue. In summary, Selenium requires the use of an additional proxy tool such as Charles or Fiddler, which can be configured to work with Selenium, but it requires additional setup and configuration. While Cypress provides built-in network traffic analysis through its dashboard service, Cypress records all network traffic during a test run, and it makes the network traffic logs available for analysis in the Cypress dashboard. Like that Cypress provides a graphical user interface for reviewing and filtering the network traffic, and time travel feature for debugging purposes. Let's do a head-to-head -head comparison of some common features of both tools. When it comes to ease of use, Cypress has a more user-friendly interface and is generally easier to set up and use than Selenium. Also, when it comes to execution speed, tests written with Cypress tend to be faster to execute than those written with Selenium. However, when it comes to browser support, Selenium supports a wider range of browsers than Cypress. Although Cypress says they support Firefox and Safari it's still very new and in an experimental state. Another category Selenium wins is Selenium supports a variety of programming languages and frameworks, 
while Cypress only supports JavaScript for coding. When it comes to waiting, Cypress automatically waits for elements to load, while Selenium requires explicit waits or sleeps to be implemented. This can make tests written with Cypress more reliable and easier to maintain. Both Cypress and Selenium can be used to test the front end and back end of an application. However, Cypress has some additional built-in testing capabilities, such as the ability to take screenshots and videos of test runs. Overall, it's a matter of personal preference which tool you choose to use. Both Cypress and Selenium have their own strengths and weaknesses, and the right choice for your project will depend on your specific needs and requirements.